Weaker, but it was long, farther. So. What an old wooden bow. A wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Okay, press this. Oh, we have the same quiver. Yeah, quivers are something that I think could change depending on type of bow movies. anywhere but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. seamless <laughs> that's a loading okay that's a loading screen nice to show the map Damn, but it would be awesome if it was seamless ah. oh okay I thought it would actually speak so You've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled this place with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. Rotate them and stick them to other objects. Mm. This is the Ultra Hand ability. I gotta say, since the beginning, I find the name a bit silly. Um, it allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things, really anything you can imagine. Mm. They use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Activate. It is to create. Okay. 
I change. Uh, I hold, and then when I release. No, I already got it. Fossilized resin with a formless sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Oh, he broke. Oh, so. I think he was. Another thing up there. I mean, I think this is the only one that I found. And I hope this is just the part up there. And not really the. It looks like the only one. Oh, a high end. Oh. You have done well to reach this place. Despite the fact that they are giants, they are kind of like the pippery, aren't they? They have slides, they have the first hylians. Mm. A blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Uh, it heals like the previous ones. Maybe the light of maybe the light of blessing when you the strength you seek. I gotta go back inside because of that thing up there. Mm, so I'm not really sure. Would I be able to reach up there? I'll talk to you one time. Ah. You did very well getting through the shrine and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the temple of time. Hmm. 
You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with paintings. They then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pet offers you a very useful scope, it's quite handy, so you already know how it works. Okay, we can see one there. Teleport me back out, or I have to go to the anchor store. You want to leave? Yeah, I'm ready to go. That there's still a work given now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Mm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet their performance still it is is fighting to me. What do you want me to kill them? The amount of misery or something. No, oh, dude. Okay. Are you fine? Hmm. I'm not aware it's useless. I am troubled by the set of the constructs we created. They still strive to fulfill their purpose, even when anyone who would benefit is gone. Hmm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this is all the details. I don't really want to. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Um, pardon me, I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Woodcutting is a practice of chopping down trees and creating wood. I think I would prefer to say woodcutting is a practice of cutting wood. I think it would be um, better. Uh, logs can be combined to assemble platforms, you can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses, uh, that is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet, I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That's why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Oh, I apologize, I have been rambling for some time. There is an axe I no longer need over there. Uh, it is yours to use if you want to do some wood cutting. Oh my, has it grown so late already? I must have failed to notice the tiny bell. I will rest for today. Wood, a portable bottle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Stone axe. I. I did have a stone axe before. Uh, a tree branch. Oh, for that it grip. Oh, the stone axe is just some. Okay. <laughs> I am sorry. I must protect myself. Good. A mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. 
it has some medicinal value attached to a stick and it can be used as a pen. Oh, was this your wood cutting at work? Very well done. Very interesting. Sorry, mate, I don't know what you want to Okay, it doesn't feel safe. I don't have stamina. Seen you. I was absorbing to prepare my next meal. Uh, I don't recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of uh, constructs to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best as we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Cooking? Ah, uh, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Very well, you will learn how to create a meal on your own. Educate. Okay. Cooking step 1. Hold the ingredients in your arms. Step 2. Throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. You, what you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food, save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so I take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I uh, will remain stationed here. Ask me anything, anything you have for the questions about cooking. Uh, he cooks indefinitely, and he never tastes anything. Would still, he still cook the same way as he did the first time, or? Similar fruits. The sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Oh, let's get another one. Um... <laughs> mushroom skewer. The simple mushroom packed skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Okay, one of those. And I can make one of those as well. Yeah, it has additional value. <laughs> meat skewer, a juicy alien snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. Okay, I'm curious about that one. Fried <laughs> with our greens. A basic vegetable dish made by sauteing fresh wild plants. Uh, I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I passed by here. 
The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the time bell, ringing mornings and evenings. I heard the time bell. Oh, but maybe the time isn't passing like in the plateau. Uh, it was as if the whole place changed at the, its chime. Especially at night, when the sounds sign out the emergence of the fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. Ah. Oh, so mm. oh no. Love this good thing. It's about time, time bell rang each morning and evening. This shine was a, a constant in our lives. Mm. The best time in the garden was at dusk when the fireflies would emerge. this weapon but it's heavy and does have a bit of power behind it. Gelatinous substance that came from Chuchu. It's unusual in the state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Oh, okay, now I need to do Better my weapons. Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. This is the fusion piece. Log. Oh, that's interesting. That's useful. Uh, it allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up the, a sword just ahead and 
then fuse a nearby object to it. Mm. It's fused and receive the blessing from the shrine. The ability to combine. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. Okay, but I have some other stuff. of these arrows were far from the way of search. Said I could unfuse, but we'll break whatever was attached to it. Let's try fuse material. Ah, uh, a small rock is just close to Fire fruit, a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, it's Heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Sign a shrine of light. Okay, hold that chest.
Construct. Though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bones do. <laughs> Captain Construct One Horn. <laughs> oh. Captain Construct Eye Horn. Uh, this wavy double edged uh, blade like horn is formidable when, coming, when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. I do have a surge here. Oh. Yeah, let's have to shoot the surge. Uh, it's five, so uh, can I just okay drop? <laughs> oh, it's around the surge. Cool. Oh, I don't have any. Okay, the next. Uh, I think that's the one I was using. This one will stick, and now we'll get that drop. may be different from the ones that are just the last thing, just for the second hand, and if the ones that are just combat, the previous one were like that. island right there and I jumped from up there so if I missed my research uh maybe I'll about to get it. Uh, I came because there's something I paid to give you. Let's take it. Paraglider. Designed to be worn on a belt, it can power Zona devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It, require, it is required to make use of the tools known as Zona devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zona devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of the cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Oh. Oh, oh, so that's how we would pay for that. Get new borders for that. Oh, it's 
Mushroom chock full of natural energy. Cook to release its stamina restoring properties. <laughs> that's often found in caves or wells. Uh, when struck, you take root in bloom, giving off faint light uh, from this small flower. Mysterious orbs can scan their surroundings, take advantage of their glaring awareness, and attach one to one arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Keys and wings on an aerodynamic material dropped by defeated keys. Arrows and throw weapons fly farther with this item attached. Oh, now I don't have any blunt weapon. Attack weapon to generate a spark. This fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you strike it near firewood. Uh, what if I attach it to a weapon? You only let you move it? Wow! Oh, come on! How, how does it jump like that? There's no gravity here. Strange crystal led by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Also, oh, it's another collectible besides the frogs. But did a blue page just run out? Oh, giant bramble seed. A seed that's found underground when struggling with bush or digging a a large amount of light from a big flower. Oh, 
diffuse effect power, uh, a precious red ore mined from a large or from large ore deposits. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Ah, oh, archaic tunic. Good, so we didn't miss it. Because it would make more sense for him to jump from above using that. But okay. Old fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth, cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle free. Okay. Uh, it doesn't even show exactly that. Mmm. The small constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted other cities for different holes, roles. Cleaner constructs, maker constructs, we find all sorts of them still active in this place. We, some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Hmm. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not know yet. Uh. There are many times constructs to be found in some lanes. Cleaner constructs, maker constructs, and so forth. So there are better words in their subjects than I. You might learn a few things by making time speak. Oh, I think that's a... The rafts were damaged. We were unsure how to proceed. We will reconsider the problem at dawn after rest. Broken, you are exhausted from trying to fix them. Currently, you are resting from this task. At least the zone devices are damaged. Zone device? Yes, they are special tools that we employ. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. As the construct in front of the pen for details. I will return. Crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is also indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver line is that the zone devices are undamaged. Ah, uh, you seem. It seems you do not know of zone devices. They are necessities around here, let me explain. This green thing is called a zone device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on the main by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. Uh, we have a variety of zone devices for multitudinal multi purposes. Using zone devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. Energy cell stores the energy required to use zone devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while zone devices are not in use. Its capacity is not limited. Use the energy contained with it wisely, otherwise, you may run out of in an opportune moment. Part of the long explanation, it does not change our need for the world. Zone devices are extremely useful, think creatively, and you will find many ways to apply them. Sorry. Ah, we may have a need for these parts. There are more materials near the water available to use. It's very difficult to respectfully when things like this happen. So, that was daytime. Which is a situation where it's in a state of disrepair. Yes, 
Let's do so employ. I can teach you how to use any of your fire water batteries. As for the construction near the pen for the place. I'm just trying to get this. Well, what can I do? You got gold. Ah, you may have needed these parts. There are more materials in the water available for you. Okay, we'll see you about what you guys. Contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. <laughs> Ranger concerts. Oh, are you, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment in account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool on traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. How do I start a fire? I recommend using flint as a fire strike starter. Place flint next to a bottle of wood, then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. Would you like to hear about cooking? Teach me how to cook. You can cook anytime in your where. All you need to do, uh, all you need is a pot with a little fire. One method for cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step is to, in all cases, is to start a fire. That's all I can tell you. Take care. I don't know. Let's cook one of those. Let's see. <laughs> Scorching, uh, hot weather attack, okay, scorching simmer fruit, with low level attack hates me in hot places, this sweet dish is made by keeping these fruits in the face, okay. Oh, I didn't know this was like that. Available or that gives off a mesmerizing ingredient similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Especially dark. You need a light in order to proceed to the mining side ahead. Do you have any bramble seed? Bramble seeds. Ah, you do not know of them. The glowing flowers there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been pickled 
mostly clean of them. That is because of its special. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I uh, impulse a cure to provide a reminder to bring bright blue seeds. By the way, did you know that bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright bloom or attacking it with an arrow? Oh, attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you see growing there is no different. Uh, I cause it to blossom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. So this one. Zonite. Yeah. Uh, an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient, ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armors. <laughs> no, let's stop Forge construction. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing Zonite. Zonite? Oh, you are unfamiliar with it. This is the Zonite I mentioned. It is a unique material that can mine far beneath the land below. There are traces, trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Well, they're limited to the space, and you still have some after all those ages. So now it's processed by smelting it into a furnace. Uh, it is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Oh. Thank you for your patience. I uh, will now explain what sorts of materials the ores can be processed into. Uh, zone technology is typically powered by zone charges. This occasional this occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials is the way in this way is called processing. So the charges, so the charges are what powers on the devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Crystallized energies, energies, charges are a solidified form of atomic charges. We maintain use, we mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Please visit any time you require processed materials. Just give it for free. The zona is already slated for processing. Uh, you will pose difficulties for me if you do it for yourself. There are examples of processed materials available on the nearby shelf. I encourage you to examine them and to see if there are any you want. <coughs> Zonite will probably be another occurrence besides rubies. A fragment of crystal made by condensing is another charge processed from zonite. Said to be used for energy cell improvement. I'm not getting them now. This 
UK previously had ample resources, it is gradually yielding less and less, makes sense. That is why I require support, but my requests have so far gone unanswered. Uh, I must therefore continue to mine without resting. I hope the support will someday arrive. No support. station. Uh, excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be? I have forgotten to bring Zona capsules. Zona capsules. You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zona capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zona devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lay you a few spares. Uh, how much care is uh, this is a device that produces wind with, with its internal propeller. And it's likely that the Zonai made smart use of this wind power to transport objects and generate thrust. The ones I gave you are fan types. If you can apply them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglects to keep a health supply on hand, I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back into its capsule. Oh, that's what I wanted to get the ones I found around. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Alright. Living this is easy. Simply use the Zona capsules I gave you earlier. A device can be returned to its castle once it leaves your pouch. Take care not to waste capsules for careless use. Oh, 